Good morning, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's patient is a John Deere LA-102 uh, five-speed 100 series uh, lawn tractor. Uh, I picked this up on Craigslist locally, uh, very inexpensively. It had a good deck on it, uh, which is the main reason that I got it. The uh, seller advertised it as not running, which, uh, you know, it took me about five minutes to uh, get all the dirt that was packed into the air cleaner out and um, charge the battery and fired right up. But here's the catch. The, um, the engine sounds great when it's revving up high when you first come off a choke, but if you throttle down and, and get it to idle, um, well, just stay tuned. You'll, you, can, you can hear what I'm talking about. significant rod knock so so today uh, we are going to go through the steps of removing the engine and then we will do a separate video on tearing the engine down and diagnosing what the problem is with it so I hope this is going to be useful. I mean, if nothing else, this will give you some guidance when you're parting out a mower, how to get to everything. Or, um, you know, I'm probably going to end up putting a different engine in this one from another mower I've got. So stay tuned. Please like the channel. Please subscribe. I appreciate uh, everybody watching. And please leave any questions in the comments. Thank you. As you can see, uh, step one was removing the deck. Um, did that before we started taping today. I'll link, uh, I have a separate video on removing the deck, uh, which I will link to in the uh, description below. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, remove the hood. I do have another video on that, which I will include, but it's real simple. And then I'm gonna jack it up and uh, put it on uh, some, some ramps. Uh, just to have better access to everything and make it easier to film. So stand by and we're going to do that. Okay, uh, we're going to start, we're going to remove everything from the top first and then we'll go underneath and uh, show you how to get everything unhooked from below. This is, uh, you've got basically three things you need to unhook. You need your fuel, which is this fuel line right here. I am going to uh, pull that line and I'm going to put an inline uh, fuel valve cut off in there so we don't lose any gas, make a mess in the garage, get me in trouble. Then. Uh, the uh, carburetor, you have to remove the throttle linkage, which is right here. Unhook that from the carb and leave it uh, safely hanging. It's a Torx or a flathead, depending on what you have. On the uh, right hand side, I'm going to unhook the starter at this point and hook the wiring harness for the engine right here. Um, once you do that, um, I'm going to take the cover off so I can get to the uh, crankshaft bolt underneath so I can stop it from turning underneath and then um, we'll go ahead and take it off or we'll, we'll go ahead and take the uh, engine cover off just to make everything more visible. So stand by. We're gonna, oh, the exhaust, the muffler just pulls right out. You don't have to unplug this or unbolt it. Uh, we may just for access and make it easier to see on the video.
Okay, we had a brief hiccup that we can fix through the magic of video editing. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove this entire upper cover anyway, because once you loosen the four, uh, these are Torx T25. Once you loosen these, the cover has to come off for you to get this plate off to get access to the nut for the um, for the crankshaft. So to get the cover off, very simple on these. There's two 10 millimeter bolts at the back on either side. And you have two at the front that are uh, Torx. So once you undo those, take the air filter off, uh, the cover will pop off and then you can do the, um, you'll have access to the crankshaft bolt. And we do need to also remove the fuel filter or disconnect it from, I mean the fuel pump or disconnect it from the carb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo it. It's 10 mil volt on this particular one. Once that's off, we'll just leave it hanging free. Again, this thing idles and runs so well with the exception of that nasty rod knock that uh, I'm planning on reusing most of these parts for other projects. You know, I was going to disconnect the fuel pump um, from the uh, cover, the engine cover, but it's just too difficult to get to. So I'm just going to disconnect the fuel line from it so that it'll come free. Again, we're going to, this, this engine idles and runs fantastic with the exception of the rod knock. So we're just going to go ahead and we're, we're planning to reuse everything on the engine except the short block, so. I'm trying not to damage anything in the process of getting it apart. These don't have to come all the way out because they're slotted on the bottom. Got another breather line here that I missed. So disconnect over here by the oil fill tube. Uh, just a quick tip while we're on top i've got a 24 millimeter socket on a breaker bar i'm just bracing it up against the body uh, hopefully it won't be so tight that that causes an issue okay the first step we need to do once we get under here is we need to take this pulley assembly off uh, because it contains the drive belt uh, for the actual transaxles at the top 
So what you do is um, you have to put a breaker bar or a ratchet on the top, which is why we had to take the engine cover off and uh, hold the crank still while you undo this bolt. And then depending on how well it's put on, you gotta whack it with a hammer a couple times or um, it may just fall right off. So once we get that out of the way, there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. And those are the only thing holding the engine on once you get the pulley um, out of the way. So I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and uh, we'll get to that next. Okay, what we found to do, we have the top of the engine secured with a breaker bar and the 24 millimeter socket on the top. Down here, you have a 16 mil bolt holding this pulley on. I had to get ugly with it and use a half inch breaker bar um, and a half inch socket to get it loose. I uh, did that off camera because there was some not safe for kids um, commentary involved. <laughs> so now we have the, uh, the bolt loose and we will see See how hard this pulley is to get off now. Um, when the pulley comes off, it's gonna take the drive belt obviously off with it. All right, now with that loose, we have four bolts on the corners that are holding the actual engine to the mower. So we'll get to those now. Okay, I've got my half inch uh, ratchet and a couple of extensions, uh, 16 millimeter socket. You've got four bolts. We'll start with the two at the back first. They're broken loose, so I'm gonna cheat. Use my drill. After I get an extension. Okay, now everything is unhooked. So we just go back to the top, double check that everything's disconnected and we can lift the engine off. Okay guys, this is, this is literally all the hardware that you need to remove to get the engine out. So uh, keep a Ziploc bag handy or a Tupperware container or something to keep all your stuff together so you don't lose it. Especially if you're gonna be reusing the engine or the mower. Okay, with everything disconnected, double check, make sure everything was out of the way. The only thing you're gonna run into potentially is if this exhaust pipe hangs up in the mower. Otherwise, it's ready to lift off. So that's it folks, um, we're going to put this one on the bench, uh, get uh, some better, some lights on and uh, we're going to tear the bottom half in and see what happened.